हेलो एवरी वन आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर यशवी शेजा फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट दिस सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट विथ लेक्चर नंबर टू विच इंक्लूड्स आई सी इंजिन देन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ टू स्ट्रोक इंजिन एंड फोर स्ट्रोक इंजिन एंड देन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ आई सी इंजिन ओके ओके दिस इज द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द ट्रैक्टर दिस पार्ट इज फैन देन दिस इज द रेडिएटर and also there is water cooling jacket and combinedly this system is called as water cooling system okay there are different systems present in the tractor so you need to understand the different systems of the tractor and where they actually located in the tractor okay now after that uh, there is engine okay which is present after the radiator and fan okay then this part is called as clutch okay and this is the flywheel which drives the uh, engine actually and the flywheel gets the drive from the self starter motor okay and the motor which uh, runs with the help of the battery okay then this part is gearbox which is approximately present below of the driving seat in the tractor then after that this is the differential unit and here PTO shaft that is a uh, full form of PTO that is power take off okay then these are the front wheels okay and these are the rear wheels okay so firstly there is cooling system present in the tractor after that engine okay then clutch then gear box and last unit that is differential unit okay okay now uh, what is the function of engine engine converts the one kind of energy into the another kind okay now heat engine is a machine for converting heat developed by burning the fuel into the useful work okay now there is the classification of heat engine so heat engine basically classified into two classes that is external combustion engine and internal combustion engine why it is called as external combustion of uh, combustion engine because combustion of fuel takes place outside the cylinder so it is called as external combustion engine and the example of external combustion engine that is steam engine okay in steam engine coal is used as a fuel uh, so coal is burned in the furnace to boil the water in the boiler which generate the steam and the steam uh thus generated is used to run the engine okay nowadays uh, uh, in nowadays this type of engines are become obsolete because uh, their huge size then heavy weight then uh, also unsafe due to the fear of blasting and less thermal efficiency okay now the next type of heat engine that is internal combustion engine why it is called as internal combustion engine because the combustion of fuel takes place inside the cylinder itself so it is called as internal combustion engine okay all modern vehicles uses internal combustion engines due to the uh, smaller size than compact design safe and better thermal efficiency okay then internal combustion engine is again classified into three classes so first one that is von kell engine then reciprocating engine and last one that is rotary gas turbines okay after that reciprocating engine again divided into two types that is spark ignition engine and compression ignition engine okay and spark ignition engine present in the petrol engine and compression ignition engine which is present in the diesel engine or it is also called as diesel engine okay why uh, because in petrol engine spark plug is used for the burning of fuel and there is a mixture of air and fuel which is prepared in the carburetor and that is transferred to the cylinder and that fuel is burned by using the spark plug okay which generate the spark and fuel gets burnt okay Uh, but in case of diesel engine fuel injector is used instead of spark plug so in uh, in case of diesel engine air is directly uh, or air is transferred to the cylinder instead of mixture of air and fuel uh, after that the high temperature generated in the cylinder because the air is compressed at a high pressure 
so there is uh, increase in temperature and at highest temperature the fuel is uh, injected into the cylinder through the fuel injected uh, sorry through the fuel injector so the fuel get burnt okay we have already uh, discussed about external combustion engine and internal combustion engine so let's see the components of ic engine that is internal combustion engine so first component or first part of ic engine that is cylinder which is the heart of the engine or basic part of the engine then cylinder uh, cylinder block then cylinder head cylinder liner piston again piston have the two parts that is head of piston and skirt after that piston rings which uh, have the oil rings and compression rings okay then piston pin then connecting rod crankshaft flywheel crankcase then camshaft after that timing gear then inlet manifold and after that exhaust manifold this is the diagram of components of ic engine so first part or component that is cylinder where the actual combustion of fuel takes place okay then this is the piston okay then this one connecting rod then this is the piston pin which connects the piston and connecting rod or provide the flexible connection between them then here is the cooling water because this is the cooling jacket okay and that is the part of cooling system okay then this is the exhaust valve then this is inlet valve where the mixture of uh, air and fuel or in case of diesel engine only air is transferred to the cylinder through the inlet manifold by opening the intake valve okay after that this is the cylindrical uh, cylinder block okay then here is the combustion chamber then this is the crankshaft then this is the connecting rod okay and this is crankcase which support the crankshaft etc okay and uh, another part is here this is the spark plug actually spark plug present in the petrol engine so it is also called as si engine okay now first component of engine that is cylinder which is made up of high grade cast iron it is the basic part of the engine and also it is the heart of the engine which confine the expanding gases and also it forms the combustion space okay then uh, it provides the space in which piston operates to suck the air or air fuel mixture it means it guides the piston okay then the piston compresses the charge uh, in case of petrol engine because in case of petrol engine there is a uh, mixture of air and fuel is required which is prepared in the carburetor separately and then it is entered into the cylinder through the inlet manifold and intake valve okay then the gas is allowed to expand in the cylinder uh, which uh, cylinder transmitting the power for the useful work okay whatever the force of expanding gases that pushes the piston backward direction so that power is used for the useful work okay now next component that is cylinder block which is made up of cast iron okay this is cylinder block okay which includes cylinder and water jacket okay these these are the cylinder liners and uh, these liners are surrounded by the water jacket okay for the cooling of the engine okay uh, in some cases instead of water jacket there are cooling films are present in case of air cooled engines okay then next third component of ic engine that is cylinder head which is made up of cast iron or aluminium alloy it is detachable portion of the engine which covers the engine and uh, includes the combustion chamber then spark plugs and valves okay this is the cylinder head which covers or which is present over this cylinder block which have these valves okay then spark plugs and and also it forms the combustion 
a space or combustion chamber okay the next this is the cylinder liner uh, which may be wet or dry which is inserted into the cylinder block in which piston slides okay in this uh, cylinder line liner pist uh, piston moves upward and downward direction okay then cylinder liners are fitted in the cylinder bore uh, and easily replaceable these liners are easily replaceable when those are worn out we can easily remove from the cylindrical block and uh, uh, we can replace with them with new one okay then liners are classified into two groups dry liner and wet liners dry liners makes the metal to metal contact with the cylinder block and wet liners comes in contact with the cooling water okay in wet liners uh, directly the water comes in contact with this uh, wet liner and in case of dry liners there is metal to metal contact okay then piston next component of ic engine that is made up of aluminum alloy or cast iron it is cylindrical part closed at one end it is closed at a one end which maintains a close sliding fit in the engine cylinder and is connected to the connecting rod by a piston pin okay this is the connecting rod this is the piston and both are connected by this piston pin then the force of expanding gases against the closed end of the piston forces the piston down in the cylinder okay whatever the expanded gas is produced within the cylinder which forces down this piston uh, piston down in the cylinder this causes the connecting rod to rotate the crankshaft so this connecting rod uh, rotate the crankshaft okay then there are two parts of the piston first one that is head and second one that is skirt the part present above the piston pin that is called as top of the piston uh, uh, sorry that is called as head and the uh, the part which is present below the piston pin that is called as skirt okay for example here this part is cylinder head and this part is skirt okay then piston rings okay there are two types of piston rings which is made up of cast iron or steel alloy and uh, these piston rings are fitted in the grooves made in the piston these grooves are specifically made for the piston rings okay now let's see the what are the functions of piston rings first one that is sealing of combustion chamber so that Uh, so there are minimum uh, losses of gases in the crankcase okay so what will happen after combustion of the fuel there may be chances of leakage of uh, expanded gases into the crankcase that will be prevented by these piston rings okay also these piston rings uh, reduce uh, sorry ha huh, right it reduces the contact area between the cylinder wall and piston wall for preventing the friction losses and excessive wear okay then it controls the cylinder lubrication also this piston rings transmits the heat away from the piston to the cylinder walls okay now there are two types of rings first one that is compression ring and uh, compression rings are usually plain single piece and uh, are always placed in the grooves nearest to the piston head okay first two rings are compression rings and last one this is oil rings why because the oil rings have the slots okay oil rings are grooved or slotted and are located either in lowest groove above the piston pin okay then next component is the piston pin it is also called as wrist pin and gudgeon pin uh, which is made up of alloy steel case hardened alloy steel 
it provides flexible connection between the piston and connecting rod after that next component that is connecting rod that is made up of drop forged steel it connects the piston pin to the crankshaft it changes the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft also because it is connected to the piston and piston uh, moves uh, or uh, it have reciprocating motion okay so it uh, connecting rod transfer the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft okay like this suppose here is the cylinder and this is the connecting rod okay it converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft okay then it transmit the power produced at the piston to the crankshaft because it is uh, indirectly connected to the crankshaft right then crankshaft which is made up of drop forged steel or cast steel it is the main shaft of an engine which converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the flywheel okay now the next component of ic engine that is flywheel which is made up of cast iron it stores the energy during the power stroke and return back the same energy during the idle strokes now what is meant by idle stroke the strokes which do not produce or create the power that is called as idle strokes for example compression exhaust and suction stroke these are these three are the idle stroke then crankcase the crankcase is that part of the engine which supports and encloses the crankshaft and camshaft it provides a reservoir for the lubricating oil of the engine also then next component that is the camshaft it is the shaft which raises and lowers the inlet and exhaust valves at the proper time and the camshaft is driven by the crankshaft by means of gears chains or sprockets okay then timing gears is the combination of gears one gear of which is mounted at the one end of the camshaft and other gear is mounted on the uh, crankshaft okay and camshaft gear is being big, is bigger than the crankshaft gear and it has the twice teeth than the crankshaft gear okay and uh, this timing gears controls the timing of ignition timing of opening and closing of the valves as well as fuel injection timing so the small gear which is present on the one of the end of crankshaft and uh, big gear which is present on the one of the end of camshaft okay this is the camshaft and uh, camshaft helps in lowering and raising of the valves okay and camshaft have the lobes okay camshaft have the cam lobes like this okay which have a sharp projection okay so what will happen when this camshaft gear gets the drive from this crankshaft gear then the lobes uh, this camshaft lobe touches this tappet okay and this tappet is connected to the push rod and then this valve okay this mechanism is same for the exhaust valve also so what will happen when the lobes that sharp projection comes in contact with this tappet then the tappet moves upward direction and the valves get open okay and when the plain part of that cam lobe comes in contacts with this tappet then automatically tappet comes downward direction and valve get closed okay then inlet manifold and exhaust manifold inlet manifold it is the part of the engine through which air or air fuel mixture enters into the engine and exhaust manifold is the part of the engine through which exhaust gases goes out of the engine cylinder okay here different components or parts of the ic engine completed so we will stop thank you for listening